A burning question unanswered for 25 years has been solved thanks to Diablo 2's lead artist Phil Shank. The question being the reason behind why anyone would shove a soul stone into their forehead, let alone their chest or any other vital organ as seen with the prime evils taking over hosts in the Diablo series. But how did I stumble upon this answer? Well, on Twitter I asked, okay, then one thing that confuses me, in The Great Exile, the Primes were ethereal, needing to take over hosts to anchor them according to the original manuals, I believe. To which Phil responded, yeah. Now, this is all 20 year memories, but that still makes sense, right? I think my idea was the hosts alone weren't enough. The discovery of soul stones by the primes allowed them to accumulate power from hell through the slowly corrupted soul stones into the host. The soul stones are conduits that could be attuned over time to channel a prime's native energy slash essence from hell, piercing the protective world stone shield around sanctuary into a host. So you need A, attuned slash corrupted soul stone, B, host for prime soul, C, a soul stone jammed into a host at a chakra point. And that is why Tal Rasha's stone was embedded in his chest and Diablo's was in the warrior's forehead. Intermixing theology and spirituality, the chakra in Hinduism has seven main points down a person's midline, believed to channel different energies. The Diablo creators amazingly folded this into their own world building. And digging back into early drawings, we see similar pictures depicted in Diablo 1's manual. Make sure to follow Phil Shank on Twitter as he drops many Diablo facts and consistently takes time to answer fans' obscure questions like mine 20 plus years later. Also, make sure to like and subscribe for more Dark Lore.